In English, the word transform is a verb and means a dramatic change, such as, I saw the cube transform into a unicorn. I won't be using that form. I'll be using it as a noun, where transform is a mathematical term, meaning an operation that changes the position, orientation, or size and shape of an object. Transforms are a key part of computer graphics. In these lessons, I'll be explaining how transforms work. You probably didn't realize it, but you've already been using transforms in a few of the previous exercises. When you set the position of an object, you were using a type of transform called a translation. We use transforms whenever we animate anything, objects, lights, or cameras. We're going to spend a fair bit of time on transforms since they allow us to do so much. The study of transforms for computer graphics is associated with the field of linear algebra. This field is concerned with vector spaces and is usually considered a prerequisite for any computer graphics programming course. If you know a bit about linear algebra, great. Having a deeper and wider understanding of the subject will help. However, basic computer graphics needs just a few small bits of theory to get things going. My goal in these lessons ahead is to teach you the tools you'll need to quickly and effectively be able to control your virtual world.